we cannot afford to buy a uh, fuel we can also not afford to pay for electricity they are simply telling you that you should close shop so government should look at that so as to have a better uh, gdp and i and that's why i say we are saying that this government must be caution caution in the fact that how can you be having this kind of uh, reform in a short period mm. it's going to affect every strata every economy and every seasonal mm. member so i think they should look at that and, and there is no alternative yet that's the problem mm. so there should be always the cushion of the fair. i expect by now we start seeing buses all over the country yes. that will be conveying people i said by now they should have completed some processes i said by now they should be inviting me and giving me incentive to come and convert my car from pms to CNG, but we are not seeing that. So I think it's slow. So in as much as you are quick to implement, you should be quick to also provide a solution that will push in the effect. Thank you so much. Now, me, uh, my take is this. Is, is it that the president says, oh, let's just have a, a free floating, just as it flows in Naira, and we are not going to have a development? It's a situation whereby uh, the electricity discourse, we choose, you know, this in opportune time, a time like this, that they want to increase uh, Tariff and there's no going back, and there seems to be no, no uh, input from the federal government. What well, the, 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 my, my fear? Since my federal government is just giving my me fear. Do you know my greatest fear? My greatest fear is that now that Nera is being floated, does it mean that there is no regulation of? Consumers are going to bear the brunt of it. What begins to ask? That's what what I was just asking. You. Where is government in all this? Is that the government just going to keep it and allow forces, market forces, to just be on its own? And this is what I said always. It's like our government are sleeping. Why they want to the citizen to suffer every brunt? Mm. What are they actually doing for us? As as citizen, you have increased the PMS. Mm. As citizen, you have float their unification. A season on July 1st, we are made to know that they are going to be increasing electricity. So, yes. what is government actually doing for the mm. citizen? Have they tried and reflect on how to reduce their own yes. salaries and wages? Have special. they also sacrificed a lot of things mm. that they're supposed to sacrifice? Yes, okay. Are they also thinking how to develop a uh, Nigerian economy? Are they also thinking of how to develop our infrastructure and economic infrastructure? These are the things that, because you can just, you can just take everything mm. and not giving anything to citizens. It's very, very pathetic. And that's why we must also be watchful and be challenging the present government to also deliver. Because they don't have excuse now. Now they have much money. They have more money, so to speak. Now Nigerian government have more money. You can tell because we say according to them, in a month they are paying for a billion naira for for a subsidy. Now that is off. So what are you doing to really push in the effect? So it must be a trade-off. What are you giving the season? And also Citizens that are paying tax are thinking, we are paying tax every now and then. What is as it reflects on the yeah. well being of citizens? So, these are the things. So, we are looking at them how they increase our health, how they increase our education, our social infrastructure, you know, road, and a lot of things that we need to. Okay, thank you so much. Now, people are already skeptical about this uh, federal government policy that it will cause job loss in a region like you are worsening hardship. I'm still on this issue of uh, Naira floating or floating Naira. What should the federal government? Is federal government supposed to be looking at far-reaching uh, solutions to construct it? Well, for me, uh, as an economist, I, I find it difficult to agree with them that they should float on the Naira because you know what? There are some services that are essential. Mm -hmm. Those services that are essential that you don't subject them to Naira unification. So once you subject them to Naira unification, it gives us a problem. It brings mm -hmm. us toward hardship. For instance, some things that maybe help. The people that want to go for health and are challenges, you know, you don't subject them to this unification of Naira. There's also some manufacturers that when mm. they are bringing all their goods before they get at 450 yes. for official Naira, and by the time they get at 450, it also trans translates to how much they will sell it to. So now that they are getting at 750 or so, what do you expect? So Nigeria yeah. are going to be subject to more poverty. Mm. You know, we said we have multi-dimensional, multi-dimensional. Yeah. 
poverty of about like, 1.3%. Uh, 1.3 million uh, Nigerian. So we should be expecting addition to it because it's called multi-dimension. So if people cannot even get the basic, okay. I must tell you there is serious hardship in yes. Nigeria now. Even look at Salah coming. I saw one of the newspaper talking about uh, Salah and that paper said people cannot even, uh, not that the RAM has increases, but there, was, there is no money to buy the RAM itself. Not that food uh, I, item has also increased like that, but people cannot even afford to Purchase also the uh, purchasing power has been eroded by uh removal of first subsidy, you know, unification of Naira, and now the, the expected uh, increment in uh, uh the price of electricity. So if you look at that, our uh, purchasing power has been mm. eroded and we don't have purchasing power. So government must come and do some and like I said, mm. the low hygiene food that we expect federal government to do mm. provide a mass transit bus for people yes, exactly. as quick as possible. possible. It's very, very key. Look at your uh uh short term solution medium term solution and long term solution bring it and let us see so that by the time the nlc tuc come together we see that yes Nigeria is hopeful mm. that next one month there are buses next uh five months the diamond refinery and Nigeria refinery will be mm. working you know the next one year about 30 percent of the Nigerian vehicle would have converted to cng so mm. it should give us a template that we can follow so that we have because Nigeria love hope mm. and without hope in fact, you know, <laughs> even for that government itself, know that it's like mm. it's a time bomb that must be changed. Mm. People may revolt if this well being is get get worse. Mm. At least yes, people okay. cannot get three square meal mm -hmm. again. At least the one they are getting, let them and if it's one, let them know we are getting one. Not that we will not get at all at all. At all at all, all, all is mm. to be bad. All right, thank you so much, water. What hope? Now we are looking at uh, these uh, trending stories. I don't know how far how true it is that uh, a bank bill cap dismisses plan offset the Senate. Of course, I saw the story about a few days ago that uh, the cap that is not so happy with the turnout of the leadership position in the NAS. So actually, they are trying to about twenty two or so to defect to the opposition party to offset. Well, it is for it to be more rules for it to create a issues for the Senate president? I think it's just, it's just uh, a situation for them to create. You know, these 45 people that supported the uh, Yari, yes. they also want a juicy uh, appointment. appointment. Yes, committees. Committee. So this is just like they are using that threat mm. to get what they want. It's not that they actually want to go. But you know, Nigeria, you must also tell them that we are also capable of doing some things. So, so, so that's just what they are doing. So it's a trade-off that if you don't give us expected uh, Appointment, or you want to relegate us because we did not vote for you. We also have the capacity to start. <laughs> so many people have so, the opinion that uh, they are the people. They are reading the uh, ethnic. Uh, people are already reading that uh, during uh, uh, President Muhammad Buhari's time, nothing like this. But they just want to, in other words, when they get the majority, impeach uh, a Fabio and of course give government to uh, President. Tinubu. Well, it is. Uh, I think uh, a Fabio and President Tinubu have to be careful. Because mm. you will recall that the last time uh, during the past century, there were about something that came like this about five persons become the uh, uh, president. Yes, so it may be, it may be again that okay, let's just look at him for three months. We mm. come together, we impeach him, another yes. person uh, becomes yes. the, the senator. Uh, it's, it's, not a, it's, not, it's a game that should be expected because you know mm. it's politics and politics can bring a lot of uh, strategy. So it could be a strategy, but the only thing he can also do is that to give them. A committee mm. appointment. So he also is also a strategy. You know, yeah. he is well experienced. Yes. He has but managed the states that have state house. Even as other people so, also captured it. My so, uh, minority senate leadership, beware of banana pea, Alia Rutambu, while others want a party. Well, you know, that was a party. If yes. you look at this Alia Rutambu, which party, a, which party are they coming from? <laughs> this is another thing. They are PDP. So <laughs> if so, if you look at uh, this PDP too, you know, they also want to have that. You know, they also voted for. A yes, so yes. before the and before the vote, because I recall during the time between era, uh, 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 just looking for this position, mm -hmm. there's always a meeting after meetings whereby yes. a group will come and say, "Oh God, we are going to support you, but we are going to get so and so so in exchange." Mm -hmm. But you know that this is politics. After he has assumed his office, things might change because the party may now come as APC. That APC is the one taking the lead, mm -hmm. not a party. You know, mm -hmm. and decide. Uh, so it is expected, but I expect him as an experienced lawmaker, experienced governor, to to bring all of them together 
Because if there's no stability in that house, it will also affect President uh, Tinubu. Exactly. It will affect exactly. him in some of his. You know, you remember that we must commend. Uh, uh, I think Gwari learned his lesson in the first tenure yes, and tenure. take correction. You can see that in the second tenure, even he gets ways and means loan without the day query. Any exactly. Of so, course, he, he more. Money to so, Tinubu must do more to really have a stable uh, national. As far as a politician, you know, Tinubu is very strategic. And it has that, and perhaps you also have chief of staff mm. that have a lot of experience in the uh, mm. legislative uh, uh, processes, and yeah. that even the speaker yeah. at that level. Mm. So I expect them to balance it. But they must balance it. Minority must also always have their say, while the majority have their way. And they have had their way now to become a uh, senate president. They should also consider the minority for some things. But whoever a, lead the minority is a factor. The year that he, he uh, contested against obviously didn't take it. Uh, was not in good faith because uh, he had even alleged on the national television that he was betrayed by some of those that were supporting him. That prior to that day, the previous day, he had about uh, 45 senators with him. So, what well, happened? It, 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 like I said, it, 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 it's a game and, and, and it is expected. Remember that what APC is bringing is very, very huge. That I, I, I was convinced that it will be cut for PDP. If you look at um, a chairman of the APC, mm. the senator. The wife of the uh, Tinubu, a senator. Tinubu himself, senator. You know, mm. Apadio, uh, former senator. Mm. So Barao, experienced ranking senator. Mm. So for you to defeat them, it will be pretty uh, difficult. If I thought some some PDP and some other party also align with them, and perhaps you know, south south issue, southeast issue, all those issues also came to play. So it's beyond what PDP are saying because. Mm. These people are also very, very astrated. I was even expecting, look at what happened at, at uh, uh, as of Red. Mm. There was no shake at all. At no, all. There was, there was no, and they have more number. It was even a, uh, an open, open. I even open saw, I, I watched uh, a, 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 this new party, Labour Party, mm. came, into, came, came up and said, we are supporting, uh, you know, yes. the APC. Uh, I, mean, but I was wondering, I said, they, they, they have, must have done their homework. Uh, very, very well. and I'm not even sure that was it, it that came open, up. So, it was an open uh -huh. so it was, it was. And of course, I had a Labour Party candidate when he was asked, he was voting for. He said, "Though my heart is uh, with Wase, but my vote goes to." Imagine that's kind of. That's the political like, statement. That's so funny. That's the political I said, "No, let's be. Be who are you voting for?" And of course, so what are you saying? So, Abiyo has nothing to fear or. For me, I don't think they have uh, anything to say because Yari also will not want to trade off. He's no, Yari is not ready to leave APC. It's when they are ready to leave APC that they are. But he's fear. not so happy with the outcome of the election. No, they will, comp they will compensate him. His politics. Like the paper carry that they will compensate. Uh, trust uh, uh, President uh, Sinubu. Uh, treatment abroad over his defeat. Uh, you know why? The, the, the fact remains that there are a lot of position now. Okay, you know, board member, ministers, DG. So it's just a. In, an invitation from President Trump that we are, we are, Yari, because of your challenges and because of the, what happens, I give you to the I give you this and this. It's a trade off. And once he gets it, you know, he has nothing to complain about. So, yeah. and then enough. The title we stop now, taking uh, all these uh, board positions as uh, a reward system. Yeah, but, but, things have to work. Yeah, but, but, but are you now saying that a uh, board member is not a reward system? It's a reward. Yes. It, it, they should, so, what, they what should was put, their uh, role? Just like what they, they, they should put a uh, run pegs in there. Uh, because we've had a situation where most of these board members, if not chairman, how they take advantage of the situation with you no know, contrast these and you know that they also contribute to the bulky governance. Uh, that well, we're until we have representative government, you know what I'm saying? Representative government, yeah. now that we have APC as the winner, mm -hmm. so if APC generally by percentage wins 60% of the Nigerian election mm -hmm. and PDP won 30%, Labour won 20%, let, let, let it be representative as. Government, so like that, that's the meaning. Executive, mm -hmm. since uh, by uh, Tinubu has 60 percent, mm -hmm. you take care of 60 percent. PDP that come, came second, you also have their 20 percent representative mm -hmm. leadership trust. Mm -hmm. That is when Nigeria will be ready for governance mm -hmm. because all other parties will also want to perform, and mm -hmm. Nigeria will see that to know what to do. Mm -hmm. that's right. what so, until expect. that time comes, until that time comes, to pay the it will come, it will come a reward system, <laughs> and it won't bring professionalism at yeah. all at all because, because if. Imagine if Labour Party have 10% mm. representation in this governance. 
imagine the kind of persons they want to bring mm. that will perform very well. That Nigeria will say, ah, these people perform very well because of that. Let's vote them. And APC also will be challenged that no, they must not defeat us in terms of performance. We must also do until we have that kind of challenge gene system. Mm. I doubt if we can have stop this uh, compensation uh, syndrome in Nigeria. Yeah. Well, where we as we've just heard in from the heard from the matter of the political ignorance and new land. It's always a pleasure to have you on the program. Thank you. And this is where we end today's uh, breakfast show inside Nigeria. So my name is Mimi Freddy Gobon. If you like, come your way again. Same time, same station tomorrow. Take care. You take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you for watching. For sponsorship and advert placements, please contact 080-3688-6158. Last Word Leadership Podcast Studio. You have the last word.